I think it is worth repeating again that our investigation found that Mattingly and Cosgrove were justified in their use of force after having been fired upon by Kenneth Walker. Secondary to this justification, the KSP and FBI ballistics analysis reached different conclusions, creating a reasonable doubt in the evidence about who fired the fatal shot. I certainly understand the public's desire for answers, and many have questioned the length of the investigation. Simply put, we had to try every means necessary to determine who fired the fatal shot before the investigation could be completed. With a thorough and complete knowledge of all evidence collected in this case, lawyers with our Office of Special Prosecutions presented the findings of our independent investigation before a grand jury comprised of Jefferson County residents beginning on Monday and concluding today. In Fletcher v. Graham, the Kentucky Supreme Court said that the grand jury has competing but balanced functions. On the one hand, its purpose is to investigate allegations of criminal conduct and determine if there is probable cause to believe that a crime has been committed. On the other, the grand jury serves to protect the public against unfounded criminal prosecutions where probable cause is lacking. The grand jury is unique in our criminal justice system because it operates independent of the court and the prosecutor. The hallmark of the grand jury is its independence from outside influence. This independence is necessary to ensure that justice is done both for the victims and for the accused. After hearing the evidence from our team of prosecutors, the grand jury voted to return an indictment against Detective Hankinson for three counts of wanton endangerment for wantonly placing the three individuals in apartment three in danger of serious physical injury or death. The charge of wanton endangerment in the first degree is a class D felony. And if found guilty, the accused can serve up to five years for each count. Start to feel like shit, hand to the words. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb. Let me be the full while when I look into your eyes. I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs. I was on for you found. Huh? Like hey, yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Matt B. Thank you for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Tell me what you think about the video down below. Please comment down below and tell me what you think about the video. Other than that, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. If you dislike what you hear about at the end of the video, feel free to hit that dislike button. Don't matter to me, YouTube don't pay me anyway. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go in on this video and try to make a mock of, you know what I've already tried to, you know, tell the people and others, you know, that have been trying to tell you guys for the past six months of, you know, what we already knew what was going to happen. And, you know, I just find it funny that, you know, we didn't take a hint a couple of days ago um, when they paid, when the city had paid, you know, Breonna Taylor's family out you know, $16 million. And we didn't take heed to the fact that you, we already knew the, 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 you know, the decision before the decision already happened. We already knew this months ago when the, when the situation had happened that the police was going to get off. So I hope, you know, I hope people are not really surprised about the situation. I see people are still celebrating the fact that one of the police officers did get charged for something that's outside of the death of Breonna Taylor. And, you know, I'm here to say that you know it's funny even even though you know it's a it's a I mean it's <clears throat> it's a felony or whatnot but at the same time it's like you know it's up to five years and at the end of the day it's not promised that that police officers will do any time at all in prison so for those who are celebrating I'm sorry to rain on your parade this is in no way to try to, you know, defend the police officers or, you know, make fun of the, um, you know, the, the people who are on the side of Breonna Taylor or anything, because I'm not choosing any size. Um, 
I'm pretty sure about this, you know, by now everybody knows how I feel about the situation. And I mean, it's a tragedy, but at the end of the day, this is something that we all need to learn from. We all need to take heed to. And, um, you know, we need to make sure that, you know, none of our women end up, none of our black women, you know, or any race. I'm not even gonna say this is black women. We just don't end up in situations like this. My condolences also, again, to Breonna, Breonna Taylor's family. I want to say that also. Because at the end of the day, man, she didn't deserve it. Yeah. And there's a lot of people saying that she didn't deserve it. And of course, she didn't deserve it. But at the end of the day, um, I hope we can find a way to point the finger at who really needs the finger to be pointed at. You know, you know, I'm sorry to say, I mean, but it's it's the, you know, it's the obvious truth. So behind all these conspiracies and everything else going on, the the situation where, you know, hey, he could have um the the ex-boyfriend could have took a plea deal and said, you know, Brianna had something to do with her any way ago. Um, that's irrelevant. And I just, like I said, I just want people to understand, man, like, now, now that, you know, everything, everything is over with, you know, we got LaWoke James and, you know, all these different basketball players, uh, women's basketball players, um, just, you know, just me to me over exaggerating the, the situation or making it bigger than what it is, because at the end of the day, I know many people wanted justice for this, you know, for this young lady. But at the end of the day, um, <laughs> you know, we need to realize and understand, you know, this is this is the law. This is how things are. And to me, I, I still I'm still mad that the fact that her boyfriend and the boyfriend at the time of her passing is still alive. I'm, I, you know, what I'm saying like that's that's who I fought, you know, give majority of the fault for for even shooting at the police, for you know, what I'm saying for even, you know, causing her to die. So I, I want to also say I'm gonna, I'm gonna say again, people that celebrating the one police officer that um, you know, that's getting charged for shooting blindly into another apartment or whatnot just shooting anywhere or whatever whatever um i'm like i said that's not a win and i want people to understand you know in the, in the coming days when everything else come out um you guard your heart protect protect your mind and guard your heart man because it's really gonna be um it's really gonna be a rocky road man it really is to all the people out there in in, in, in Kentucky or in, in Louisville, um, I mean, stay safe, be careful. I mean, get ready. We already see Black Lives Matters Antifa. We already see they're they already popping out the woodwork. I hope this situation wakes a lot of people up. I really do. I hope this situation wakes people up. What's obvious, obviously bound to happen. I mean, the situation is, like I said, the situation is very tragic. It can go either, you know, both ways. But at the end of the day, what we what we need to do is make sure that there's not another Breonna Taylor, where she don't have to deal with a uh, Jamarcus. Brothers, man, if you really care about your women, man, you care about your black, your black queens and everything else, man, you would, you know, no matter what you're doing, if you're dealing in these streets, man, you would keep, make sure that our women is protected by all means. That's all I can, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can say on this situation, man. And women choose better, man. 
Now, we're going to say, you know, it's easy or anything else like that, though. But like I said, man, don't, don't choose, man, that can lead you into situations like this. When news broke and, you know, everything first happened back in March, man, I was really actually, this is, <laughs> this really hurt, you know, it really hurt my feelings to even hear something had happened like this. And then all over the time, you know what I'm saying, I started learning more and more about the situation and, and, and learning that she was actually dwelling in the game, so to say, you know, with this guy. And even though she left it alone and she was, you know, choosing a, you know, a better situation for herself, she still ended up on the wrong end or the wrong side of the, you know, situation. I mean, that's pretty much all I can really say, man. It's really sad. It's really tragic. But at the end of the day, man, we need to learn a lesson from this, man. We really need to learn a lesson from this. And for once, man, I, I hope a lot of people, you know, looks like you lost another one. Take this, man, and just really think about, think about, you know, this being you, this being a woman you know. Just think about it. This your boy, Matt B, man. Thank you for checking out another video. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Hey, hit that bell if you feel like it, man. Hit the like button if you like this Call of Duty gameplay commentary. I love y'all, man. Peace. I'm out. Start to feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while when I look into your eyes I don't see the same smile, probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't worried